Hi guys, today we will be attempting the rest of the questions of the exercise that we just uh, did in our previous uh, two uh, you know, videos. The exercise we are doing right now is uh, about applications of trigonometry. So we are left with a few more questions, five to six uh, questions are there. So we will finish those questions today and that will finish the chapter and we'll finish the exercise as well. For the new faces, if you don't know me, my name is Kong and this is Posh Coaching Classes. Please do consider subscribing to this channel and do watch the rest of the videos as well if they are of your interest. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and see what is question number 11. We are done with uh, question number 10, the last uh, video. So now question number 11, it says a TV tower stands vertically on the bank of a canal. So we have a TV tower. Let's make the tower. And it is standing on a canal. So on the bank of the canal, directly opposite to the uh, tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degrees. So somewhere on the ground, there is an angle which is in the making that is 60 degree. What else it says? From another point 20 meter away from this point. So from this point we have to go 20 meter away and what happens there? It says from this point on the line joining this point the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degrees. From here we have an angle in the making and that is 30 degree okay now what does it says find the height of the tower and the width of the canal so we need to find the height and even the width of the canal okay so let's give some names to this is this a b c and d okay so let's write question number 11 and what does it say first of all we'll say let the height of the tower be h and width of the canal be x okay now let's take First triangle, we have two triangles here. One is ABC and then we have ABD. So let's take the first triangle. So we'll say in triangle ABC, right angled at B. See, this thing P, B, P, H, H, B, sine, cos, tan, cos, x, second, cot. So I'm taking AB upon bc is equal to so if we see ab upon bc that is perpendicular upon base is tan and the angle is 60 degree one more thing we have to mention here see bc we don't have the actual value of bc right now but this thing is 20 meters so if this is x this will be x minus 20 right so we will just write it here BC is equal to X minus 20 why because this whole distance is X so what we are going to do we are going to deduct this 20 from this X and we will get the value here so now I'll put the value so AB I have put it as H BC is X minus 20 now tan 60 is 1 upon root 3 I believe so tan 60 is root 3 by the way so let's put root 3 now h is equal to root 3 then we have x minus 20 here right so let's leave it as it is let me put it in a box and now let's move to another triangle so what is the triangle that I have another one in triangle ABD now I'm talking about the bigger triangle, which is right angled at B. So AB upon BD is equal to, again, 
it says perpendicular upon base, that will be tan. Now the angle is a different one, so 30 degrees. AB is again H. BD, we have put it as X. And tan 30 is 1 upon root 3. Now, let's cross multiply. We will get H is equal to X upon root 3. Right, guys? Now, I will use this value in this equation. So let, let's put this as first and this as second. Now, I'll say substitute the value of first in second. So what do I have? I have H is equal to under root 3, X minus 20, H. You can see here, H is X upon root 3. So I'll put x upon root 3 here is equal to root 3 x minus 20. Now, if I see x, I'll leave it here, is equal to root 3 is in division, it goes that side, it will be in multiplication. So root 3 multiplied by root 3 is root 3 whole square. And then I have x minus 20. Square and root gone, x is equal to 3 x minus 20. Now what do I have? It is 3x minus 3 into 20 is 60x. This comes this side is minus 3x is equal to minus 60. It is minus 2x is equal to minus 60. This is this gone. x is equal to 60 upon 2. That is 30. So x is 30. And what was x? It was the height. It was the width of the canal so now i have the value of the canal the width of the canal is there but we need to find the height as well the height is h that is x upon root 3 so h is equal to x the value of x is 30 upon root 3 so we don't keep the uh, you know root in the denominator so let's do the rationalization it's root 3 upon root 3 h is equal to 30 root 3 upon root 3 square square and root gone h is equal to 30 root 3 upon 3 3 10 h is equal to 10 root 3 meter so that is the actual height of the tower and that is the width of the canal is that clear guys i hope this is clear a very very easy question and what we did we just took the two triangles the values were put in the values of uh, tan 30 and tan 60 and after that just a simple calculation so this finishes question number 11 for you guys let's move on to question number okay guys so let's move to question number 12 now what does it say it says from the top of a seven meter high building so we have a building that is seven meter high so let's keep this building as seven meter here now the angle of elevation of the top of the cable tower. So we have a cable tower somewhere. So the angle of elevation. So this is the elevation. The angle of elevation of the top of the cable tower is 60 degrees. So we have an angle of elevation here. So let's put a dotted line. And this is 60 and the angle of depression is 45 so there is another angle that is the depression it's going down so that is 45 okay that's fine now what we need to do is we need to find the height of the tower so this thing has to be found so what exactly it is okay guys so let's give the names first so this is a b c d and e so We'll put let the height of the tower be h. Okay. Now one okay. We have one one more thing. E C is equal to seven meter. And one more thing. If you see, this is forty five degrees, and this line and this line they are parallel. So if you see there is an alternate angle in the making so this angle will also be 45 degrees i hope this is clear perfect so now we need to hide, find the height of the tower we will take two triangles first let us create triangle in 
triangle CED. I'm talking about this triangle. So, which is right angled at E. So, EC upon ED is equal to EC is perpendicular and ED is base. Perpendicular upon base, so that is tan, and the angle is 45. EC is 7, ED, we don't have ED, so let's put it as X. So let ED be X. So X, tan 45 is 1. So if I take X that side, that is X is equal to 7. So this is 7. So obviously it means that this dotted line will also be 7. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take another triangle now. That is the upper triangle. In triangle ABC, right angled at B, AB upon BC. What am I doing? I'm taking perpendicular upon base is tan. And tan, the angle is 60 degree. AB, we don't have the value as of now. BC, I just got the value of BC. BC is equal to 7. And tan 60, tan 60 is equal to tan 60 is root 3. So AB is equal to 7 root 3. This 7 is in the denominator, it goes that side, so I have the value of AB. But what exactly we need to find? We need to find the height, exact height. So if this is 7, obviously this part will be 7. Now, therefore, height is equal to, it will be AB plus BD because this is the actual height. We have AB and BD here. Now, do we have the value of AB? That is seven root three. And then do we have the value of BD? Absolutely, that is seven. And that I will take root seven common. It will be root three plus one meter. Clear guys, very simple question. So that will be the answer. And that finishes your question number 12. Let's move to question number 13. Right guys, so I'll just rub this off and we will move on to question number 13. Okay guys, so we have the next question that is question number 13 and what does it say? It says, and ob as observed from the top of a 75 meter high building. So we have a building that is 75 meter high. So let this be the building. Okay, so what are we observing from there? It says 75 meter high, uh, it's a lighthouse from the sea level, the angle of depression of two ships. So we have two ships somewhere, let the first ship be here and the second one there. So we have an angle of depression. Okay, so it's 30 degree and 45 degrees. So we have 30 and then we have 45 degrees. If one ship is exactly behind the other ship and the, uh, at the same side of the lighthouse, find the distance between two ships. So we are talking about this distance. Okay, let the names be given A, B, C and D. Okay guys, so what do we have? I'll say let the distance between two ships B X now what am I going to do I'm going to take the triangles we have two triangles again let's take first triangle first and then we'll see what happens so let's take triangle we'll say in triangle A B C so I'm taking triangle A B C right angled at B I'll take A B upon BC that is perpendicular upon base and perpendicular upon base is tan and the angle is 45 AB is 75 BC we don't have a clue as of now tan 45 is 1 so BC is 75 okay now let me go to another triangle we have N triangle ABD right angled at B 
Now I'll take the same thing again. I'll say AB upon BD is equal to perpendicular upon base. Again, tan and the angle is 30. AB, we have AB as 75. BD, if we look carefully, it is BC plus CD. So BD will be BC plus CD and tan 30. The value of tan 30 is one upon root three. So let's take one upon root three here. Now we have the value of BC here. So what we will do, I'll just cross multiply it. It will be BC plus CD is equal to 75 root three. Okay, now BC is 75. So I'll take it as 75 plus CD. I have kept it as X, so take it as X, 75 root three. Now X will be here and then I will take this 75 to that side and it will be negative 75. Let's take 75 common. We will have root three minus one meter. So what were we supposed to find? We were supposed to find the value of X. We will say hence the distance between two ships is equal to 75 under root 3 minus 1 meter right guys so this finishes another question and the question is question number 13 let's move on to question number 14 and uh, i'll just rub this off now so question number 14 what is it saying it says a 1.2 meter tall girl so we have a 1.2 meter tall girl so let the girl be here that is 1.2 meter tall now what is she actually doing sports a balloon moving with a wind in a horizontal line at a height of 88.2 meter from the ground so she spots a balloon somewhere up in the sky and the distance from the ground if we talk about the distance, it is 88.2, 88.2. So let this be A. Now, the angle of elevation of the balloon from the eyes of the girl. Okay, so the angle of elevation is from the eyes of the girl. So we need to move a bit up. So we are talking about the eyes of the girl. So it will be somewhere here. So the angle of elevation what is the angle of elevation it says the angle of elevation of the balloon from the eyes of the girl at an instant is 60 degree so we have an angle 60 degree first now after some time the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degree so the balloon is moving so it moves and goes to some other point let it be b and the angle of elevation to this point is 30 degree okay so now find the distance traveled by the balloon during the interval so what we have to see we have to find the distance of the balloon that has been traveled so let's see so we have these two things. So if this is 88.2, this is also 88.2. Now, let us see, 88.2 is from here. So this point, I'll just give the arrows. Now we'll say height of the girl What do we have height? It is 1.2 meter. But she's looking from her eyes, so it is above. So it is 1.2 meter there. So what we will do, we will see, let's give names A, B, C, D, and E. So AC will be equal to BD. These two things are same. And now what will be the actual distance? So that will be 88.2 meter we will deduct 1.2 meter because the height of the girl will not matter. So this is, and the angles which she's making the elevation is 
through the eyes so it is here so it is 0 then we have 7 8 so 8 minus 1 7 and 8 so the distance or AC is 87 and even BD is 87 so let's take the triangles now in triangle ACE right angled at C so ACE AC upon CE is equal to perpendicular upon base is 10 and what is the angle that is 60 degree AC we just got the value that is 87 CE we don't have any value tan 60 is tan 60 is one uh, tan 60 is root 3 so I'll put it as root 3 here now let's cross multiply it will be root 3 CE is equal to 87 CE is equal to 87 upon root 3 let me keep it here okay now let's move to another triangle we have n triangle b d c right angled at d now b d upon d c is uh, i mean d e d e is again tan and now the angle is 30 degree so do we have the value of BD? Yes, that is 87. Upon DE is EC plus CD. And that is tan 30. Tan 30 is 1 upon root 3. 87 upon EC. If I see EC is 87 upon root 3. So before that, let's do one thing. Let's cross multiply it. So EC plus CD into 1 will be EC plus CD itself this will be 87 root 3 now ec the value of ec is 87 upon under root 3 plus cd is equal to 87 under root 3 let's keep cd here and it's 87 under root 3 minus 87 upon under root 3 cd is equal to we'll take the lcm as under root 3 under root 3 multiplied by this it is 87 then we have under root 3 square minus 87 square and root gone cd is equal to if we multiply 87 with 3 it is 261 minus 87 upon under root 3 so cd 261 minus 87 7 8 9 10 11 4 then we have 5 15 8 9 10 11 12 30 14 15 that is 7 that is 1 we have 174 upon under root 3 as i said earlier as well we don't keep root in the denominator so let's do a bit more so cd is equal to 174 upon under root 3 let us do the rationalization so cd is 174 under root 3 upon under root 3 square square and root is gone cd is equal to 174 under root 3 upon 3 7 and we can cancel this it is 3 3 5 15 3 is 24 cd is equal to 58 under root 3 meter so this is the answer guys 58 under root 3 meter and that is your question number 13 guys so now uh, I'll just try and repeat it one more time don't get confused with this thing why because this is the height of the girl and we are not talking about the foot of the girl we are talking about the eyes of the girl so from the eyes she's making an angle of you know elevating angle so there are two angles 60 degree and 30 degrees so that's the reason we deducted this 1.2 from the actual height of the balloon because when we talk about the height of the balloon we are looking from the ground but the girl is looking at the balloon from the eye so 1.2 meter the height of the girl will not matter so we need to deduct that so please make a note of this one as well now let's move to question number 14 just make a note of this 
All right, guys, so let's move to the last question. It says the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from two points at a distance of four meter and at a distance of four meter and nine meter from the base of the tower and in the same straight line with it are complementary. Guys, this is a very important question. So what we have to do is it says we have two angles and they are in complementary with the foot of the tower so complementary angles what are the complementary angles obviously we know the sum of the angles is 90 degree when we are talking about complementary angles so so we have let this angle be theta then we have this 90 minus theta why because both the sums both the angles should be complementary so if one is theta the other one will be 90 minus theta and what else it says prove that the height of the tower is six meter so this is the height of the tower we need to prove that this height is six meter okay now let me first say uh, to prove a b should be equal to six meter okay Anything else given? It says the angles of elevation of top two. Okay, so there are things given. One, this thing is four meter. And then we have the entire distance here as nine meter, okay? So let us see if we can prove this or not. So first let's take the triangle. We'll say in triangle A, B, C, right angled at B, We'll say anything, you can take anything. So let's take height itself. AB upon BC is equal to perpendicular upon base is equal to tan theta. Okay, so do we have AB? We don't have AB as of now. So let's keep it as H. BC is four meter. It is tan theta. Okay, so let's keep it here and let's see what we will get in another triangle so now in triangle a b d again which is right angled at b we will say a b upon b d perpendicular upon base is tan 90 minus theta. Why? Because the angle is tan 90 minus theta. AB we don't have and that is H. BD is 9 meters. So let's let it be 9 here. Now tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. Right? Now let me do one more thing. I'll write H is equal to 9 cot theta. It goes this side. And this also let me do H is equal to 4 tan theta let us put this as first and this as second now let's compare both the things so what do i have i have h equal to 4 tan theta so i'll say comparing okay so h should be there so what we will do i will say because we need to get the value of h so i cannot compare and just take the h off so i will say multiply first and second so what do i have i have h into h is equal to 4 tan theta multiplied by 9 cot theta right i could have compared these things but then we would have you know lost the h so we don't have to lose the edge, we have to keep the edge because that's the thing that we need to prove. So H into H is H square. Now this is four into nine. So before that, I'll do one more thing, four into nine. Now I have into tan theta into cot theta. Okay, H square will be 36 into tan theta. And we know cot theta is one upon tan theta. So this tan theta and tan theta gone, h square is equal to 36, h is equal to under root 36, h is equal to under root 6 square, square and root gone, 
h is equal to 6 meter that's what we wanted so a b is equal to 6 meter hence proved fair guys wonderful so this was one more question and uh, with this question we are done with this particular chapter this particular exercise i believe yes so if you have any doubts or if i have missed out anything please let me know i will definitely get back to you on that particular thing but uh, i think i have pretty much cleared everything if you have any doubts please do comment down below and do consider subscribing to this channel ask your friends your you know uh, near and dear friends who are in class 10 you can ask them to subscribe to this channel and uh, that will be a great help to us so it is me saying goodbye for today i'll meet you in my next video i'll see you in the next one with a new topic with a new chapter that will be coming in your exam so thank you so much we have a wonderful time take care